Hey guys, any of y'all know what this is? You guessed it, that's a garter snake. He may appear quite ferocious, however, he's just scared. We try to handle these reptiles with as much caution as possible and be as careful with them in order to not harm them. Now this is part six of a seven part series on snake identification. There's over 50 snake species here in Florida. We've already talked about the garter snake and how common it is in all its different varieties. The garter snake is a member of the family Colubridae. Colubridae is the most prolific family of reptiles. In fact, a member from the family Colubridae exists on every single continent in the entire world except for Antarctica. Any of y'all recognize this? This is a native snake to Florida. It's often called the queen snake. Now the queen snake is another member of the family Colubridae. Now she's not a very large snake species, but she is quite stunning. If you look at her underbelly, sometimes she's often called the seven line water snake or the queen water snake. And I'm sure all of y'all saw an uncanny resemblance to the garter snake with this girl. Her skin has a somewhat iridescent hue. This may be the queen snake, but she would be no match to this mole king snake. That's why they're called the king snake. In fact, king snakes actually eat other snakes. Now there's a few species of king snakes here in Florida, including the scarlet king snake, the Florida king snake, and the mole king snake. But all those king snakes are no match for this real king. This is the indigo snake. You can see him feasting on a diamondback rattlesnake right here. Indigo snakes have some of the most iridescent skin of all snake species here in Florida. And these guys are solid black. The record length for an indigo snake is 112 inches long. But a snake so ferocious as that is no match in speed for something like the coach whip which is quite a large snake as well at a record length of 102 inches. In fact, the largest snake I've ever caught was a coach whip snake. It was probably over seven feet long. Some people consider these to be the fastest snakes here in Florida, but it's really a bit of a toss up. At first appearance, you may be saying that looks like an indigo he's grabbing, but actually that's the second largest snake I've ever caught. That's the Eastern mud snake and it is the largest filmed eastern mud snake to this date that I've seen. This guy measured five feet, seven and a half inches long. If you were to approach this snake from the top, there's no question to the resemblance of the indigo snake and the eastern mud snake. Nor is there any question to the resemblance between several other species of snakes here in Florida. Speaking of fast snakes that resemble the indigo, most notably probably would be this species right here, the black racer. This snake is probably more commonly confused with the indigo snake than any other species. This is, however, the fastest species of snake here in Florida and even can outrun the coach whip. Now this is the largest black racer I've ever caught. Sorry about the poor quality of footage, but I had to put this on here so everybody could see. As far as black snakes go, there's quite a few of those here in Florida. One that's often forgot about is the swamp snake. The swamp snake's a smaller species of snake with a bright orange belly. That snake is reminiscent of the ringneck snake. However, slightly larger than the ringneck snake and no orange ring around its neck. And many other snake species as they get older start to darken in color. For instance, the banded water snake or cottonmouth that we've already talked about those two snake species. And one of the five other parts of this video. This is a six part of the snake identification video. Make sure you go back and check out some of those previous parts and stay tuned for the future seventh video and that'll be our finale. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can be notified anytime we introduce new snakes, spiders, creepy crawlies, or other animals. Thanks again, I'm your host Alex. Y'all make sure to stay tuned as I take on the insect pain sting index with all the different stinging insects here in Florida. Hopefully I'll see you in the great outdoors.